It's the tea with tone on 100.5 The Vibe, where we talk about what's trending around the world and right here in the seven cities. Brought to you by Hutton Electric Heating and Air. This time we're going to go ahead and keep it in the seven cities and have a little bit longer conversation about a great event that's going to be going down tomorrow here in Norfolk. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you that I did not know that July is actually National Minority Health Awareness Month. So we've been talking about mental health a while here on this station, and we are always opening the door in the studio and the phone line to someone that's going to go ahead and give us some some great information about how to improve and strengthen our mental health. And I have on the phone right now Norfolk City Council member and mental health advocate. Allow me to introduce Miss Danica Royster. What's going on, Danica? How you doing, my friend? Hey, hey, hey. What's up, 757? What's up, Tone? I'm doing great. So glad to have you here. And I've seen you doing your work. First of all, you've been doing such an amazing job as a Norfolk City Council member. You just When I first moved here, I was keeping up with you because you do so many great things in the community. And it looks like you're doing that thank once you. again. So thank you, my friend. Well, thank you. And um, thank you for your advocacy as well. I know when we first met, you know, you've been really heavy on, number one, showing up for community, yes. but also keeping the immu- community informed about different events. So much appreciation to you as well. Well, thank you. I appreciate this. So let's go ahead and talk about this event, Surviving Through Mental Health. That's going to be going down actually tomorrow, beginning at 5 p.m. at the Historic Attics Theater. Can you go ahead and just tell what exactly is this event? Yes. So um, Surviving Through Mental Health um, came about back in February. I wanted to do an event that focuses and prioritizes mental health. As someone myself who um, survives and now I'm at a point where I'm thriving through life with anxiety and Mm. dealing with ADD and depression at times, I thought that it was important for us to have this community-focused event that would be designed to build awareness, break stigmas, and Mm. bring action to support mental health and wellness, especially in our minority communities. Yes. Um, I'm sure you're aware of some of the data there, but statistics actually show Minority and economically disadvantaged communities face greater challenges in addressing and even accessing mental health resources. Mm -hmm. So um, I collaborated with the Norfolk Community Service Board along with Project Org, which is a local nonprofit, so that we would design this event to address those challenges and encourage more community collaboration around this um, this problem. So glad that this event is coming. It's like I said, it's going down Thursday evening, 5 p.m. at the Historic Attics Theater in Norfolk. Danica, can you break down the format of what's going to be going down tomorrow? So we're going to have two sets of panels, and I'm so excited. We have some heavy hitters from um, across Hampton Road mm-hmm. who are going to be joining us. We're going to have a professional panel where we're going to have uh, Dr. Crystal Vaughn mm-hmm. from Cornerstone Therapeutics, Cameron Blue with the um, CHKD, uh, Ms. Kim Ambrose, Dr. Christy Norwood from Hampton University, and Dr. Tanya Shell from Norfolk State. We're going to bring that professional lens, a panel discussion. Right. And then we're actually going to have a community discussion where we're actually got, going to have some people who are um, impact and change with makers in the community, but also some youth to have discussion because, as we know, our young people are going through it. Yes. And how it is growing up for them is not how it was for me. And dealing with social media, right. online bullying, and even self-esteem, we're losing our kids actually at some crazy rates, particularly as it relates to suicide. You know, this is not only an event to support and encourage our youth, but also the adults and the the guardians and parents that they have in their life because people only know what they know, right? Right. So we want to be able to create an atmosphere where people are here to learn, they're here to connect, and they're here to know that it's okay to not be okay. Right. And here are some resources to help you when you're having those not-so-okay days. Well, I love this. An event is for everyone, especially the youth and teens and young adults and it just everybody throughout the 757 just to create an event like this. And we need this. There's still a stigma and a stereotype of, uh, of our people when it comes to dealing with mental health and how we deal with mental health. The pandemic in 2020 opened the doors and opened eyes for a lot of people to see how much this is needed for so many people. I think that is vital. Um, I'm going to, you know, Toot my city's horn, Norfolk. It's the <laughs> place ahead. to be at Hampton Roads. And we're we're change makers and you know, we like to make sure we're addressing our real community needs mm-hmm. and priorities. Prove the individual. And right. no one is going to get through life and not face any type of challenges. So as a council person and as a city, 
we're actually, you know, even going, I'm going to have the honor tomorrow of actually presenting a proclamation signed by our mayor, Dr. Kenneth Cooper Alexander, declaring the month of July as Minority Mental Health Awareness Month. Great. So it's important for not only our constituents and stakeholders to know that this isn't just a month where we're just having a discussion, but this is something that we take seriously. One city at a time. I love that, Danica. You got me so interested. I'm going to be there. Okay, I'm going to be there. But for those yes. people that are listening, uh, can you go ahead and give us information on, on where, once again, it's going to go down and what time? Yes. So tomorrow, Thursday, July 11th, from doors open at 5 p.m. The event will start at 5.30. We're going to be kicking it off at the Attic Theater. That's located at 1010 Church Street, Norfolk, Virginia. And if you want additional information, you can visit www.norfolk.gov backslash surviving through mental health. And you can also follow us on social media and find additional information at Norfolk VA and also on Instagram at City of Norfolk VA and also at Project Org underscore on Instagram and also myself at Danica underscore Royster. If you or someone you know is in crisis, Please make sure you're utilizing the 988 Mental Health Crisis Hotline. Yes. I know that some people have heard about it, but they're not sure. That's the phone number, 988, and it will also connect you with resources here locally as well as wherever you are. We're going to do the best job we can to continue to spread the word and continue to spread the word about that uh, awareness line. I know the fight is hard, but thank you so much for standing up for for being an advocate for this. This is something that we need, and I, I just really appreciate that. And thank you for coming by the show. Now, next time, you know, we're going to have to come, let that you come inside the studio, right? You know that, right? Yes, yes, yes. We're going to make it happen. We're going to have make it happen because uh, I know we need to have some type of dance battle. Yeah, yeah. About. I, I've been so, preparing you know. myself since last Last year, you know what I'm saying? So I, I got some moves <laughs> that haven't broke out yet. That I didn't break out in Juneteenth that I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and at least to the world. And plus, we're going we gonna to judge you on your playlist and see what, so, what songs you're going to bring. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. I'm ready. I, I, I think I can go. Look, hand me the Encore. Okay. I think I can go one for one. Let's go. <laughs> she is ready. Danica, thank you so much. The door is wide open for you anytime you want to come through here. Going down Thursday night, July 11th, 5 p.m., Surviving Through Mental Health. Thank you so much for putting this together. We got all the information on our Facebook and Instagram, as well as our website, 1005thevibe.com. And I can't thank you enough for coming by and spreading this information, Danica. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.